not a bad view, huh? It's beautiful out here. Just peaceful, serene. Nothing out here but me and you. And just check that view. Oh, beauty. What do you reckon? I don't know. What are you? Oh, wait. Ah. Uh, I was wondering why you were looking at me so weird. <laughs> yeah. We're on a boat now. This is what we're doing. Now do you like the view? Silent tide bay. Come on. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is for me. Why do you have so many coins on you? <laughs> I only need one in the mouth. What do you think I'm going to do with all these coins anyway? But hey, thank you. Now, what do you think? <laughs> Pretty cool, I like it. I guess that's a good thing really, considering that, you know, this is sort of me. I don't really go anywhere else. Well, anyway, get moving. with coins rocking up over here like a piggy bank very cute why do people think that I need all of this gold like I'm not some weird hoarder and there's literally like what, 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 what am I buying new clothes like this is what I wear every day I don't need anything new. Food? Don't need it. Uh, it's, and it's not like there's like a McDonald's down here or anything. I just end up throwing them away so they don't weigh me down. But anyway, good that you brought one, I guess. Not that it was really up to you, but you know, Otherwise, you would have had to wander around here for a hundred years. Just a pointless, aimless, lost shade with nowhere to go, nothing to do. Do you know how many lists I need to keep? Keeping track of everyone for a hundred years. It's a lot of people. How do I know when to let them on the ship? I'm not the administrator of the underworld. I get it. People want to come here on, you know, after only 50 years. Or 25, you know. Not on my watch. This is a tightly run ship, as it were. Some try and pull fast ones on me. They're not going to get past me. Because I know, right? Because I'm keeping track. Oh, you have. <laughs> you have been wandering around for a century. Right. Well, how was that for you? And also, where did you get those coins? Ah, from the river. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> and you stashed them on yourself. You put them on your eyes and in your mouth. You're a special one. 
You didn't need to do that. <laughs> but hey, cute. You got the coins and waited a hundred years. And now here we are. Best of pals in a boat together. <laughs> God. I mean... <sighs> I wish this thing had a bit of speed. We are going very slowly. Go ahead. Sit back. Get comfy. And just take in the surroundings. All right? All right. Yeah, you always gotta sanitize your hands. Touching coins, man. Do you know where those coins have been? I don't. I don't want to get sick in the underworld. You know how many hospitals there are around here? No. None, mate. Okay. So, how did you, like, you know... Kick it, you know? How did you, how did you die? Did you, uh, did you get it? You know, hung, hung by the neck. No, I know, my, mime is not my thing. Boating is not mine, but, you know, gotta have some fun. Did you suffocate? What else? Did you fall from a very tall height? Did you uh, die of some disease? Oh, I mean, we don't need to, we don't need to go into it, I guess. I mean, what matters is that you're here now. After a hundred years, I got gotcha, you safe and sound. Now you can just sit back, relax, and just listen to the lapping of the waves and just chill. Rest your little head on that hard wood. And I'll take us to where we gotta go, hey? I'll just row, row, row this boat gently down the stream. Or, um, like, punt it, push it down this river. disembodied with chorus of voices just sort of bizarrely start narrating my life and what happens down here and it's unnerving because I've never found them can you see them where are they show yourself confusion was about confusion was about he raised his voice show yourself Chorus of voices. I demand it. Okay. Well. Let's get away from them. Come on. Well, there we go. They're gone. Look at us. Yeah, I'm motoring along. Let's go. Oh, yes. <sighs> Why can't I have a motor? Or, like, two, two oars. Or, like, a yacht. Or, like, you know, just anything faster than a little push skiff. Come on. And now we're cooking. Got a bit of power behind us now. Hey, even without you lifting a finger to. Come on. Yes. It's like we're in the rapids. Yeah. Give me 
a sliding seat and some oars. You fancy yourself a bit of an ottoman, do you? I mean, you're welcome to take over if you'd like. No, no, fair enough, hey. This is about you, just, just sitting there. Okay, I'll do all the work. You were, you were stroke, you say. Hmm, that's a good seat. You get perfect time? Well, I should hope so, given you're the stroke. What are you playing with there? Oh, good. You brought a newspaper with you, did you? What's news? Hit me with it. Yeah, I can see that it's not in great nick. I mean, if you've been playing with it like you're playing with it right now, for the past hundred years, I'm surprised it's still remotely held its shape. Uh-huh. The Trojan War, the sacking of Troy, specifically in the Aeneid. There's a wonderful passage that Virgil told me himself. Turns out he's quite the fan. Oh, you man. Yeah, he came on this little boat trip around the time that I first started. Early doors. And told me of the tale of Pantus who was a Trojan priest of the temple of Phoebus, as he was trying to flee Troy just after the Greeks had climbed out of their horse and started ransacking the city. Yeah, I'll tell you a bit. Ek autem. Tellis, Pantus, Elapsus, Archivo. Pantus, Otriades, Pantus, the son of Otrus. Archis, Fulipis, Que, Sacratus. Sacra mano, Hutosque, Deo, Parvum, Que, Nepotis, Ipsi, Trahit, Cusul, Qua, Mens, Ad, Limina, Tendit. Quore, Sum, Maloco, Pantu, Quam, Prendimus, Arche, Wix er fatus eram gemitu cum talia redit. Venit summa dies et in eluctabile tempus tardaniae. Fuimus troes, fuit ili et ingens gloria teucrorum. Ferus omnia Jupiter arcus transtulit. Ingensa danae dominantur in orbe. Ados. Armatos meris in moinibus tastans fundericus, victorique sinon in gendia miscet insultans, portis salii biba dendibus adsunt, milia quod magnis umquam venere migenis, obsere rali telis angusta viarum oppositis, sat fer acies mucronicus do stricta paradeneci, vix primi proliant temptant potan vigles, et caecomate resistunt. Do you enjoy that? Yeah. Well, I mean, I know it's a dead language, but you're a dead person, so... Glass houses. In any case, you don't need to understand poetry in order to enjoy it. Stop that. You have quite the unnerving stare. Has anyone told you that before? 
<laughs> oh. Oh, good. You brought a camera too. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but... Yep, taking pictures. You want me to? Okay. Um, what would you like me doing? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this as well. Fair enough. Okay, so. You want me to make a, an ugly face? Alright. Like this? How do I look? Good. Yeah, 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 come on. Ugly face. Like that? No, that one's good, yeah. You like that one? That was a good photo. Okay, one more. Ugly face. And... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Well... Show it to me at some point. No, you can't. You can't, because you know, this is a film camera. <sighs> Come on, we're at sea. Do you know any sea shanties? Sea shanties, yeah. Yeah, I have a feeling they'll have a weird resurgence in the fullness of time. Become just like bizarrely arbitrarily popular again. Come on, you know sea shanties, like, you know, what will we do with a drunken sailor? What will we do with a drunken sailor? What will we do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? How about this one? <clears throat> when I was just a little lad, or saw me, mammy told me. But if I didn't guess the girls we lives would grow a moldy Away, all away, well all away, Joe Away, <gasps> all away, well all away, together Away, all away, well all away, Joe Away, <gasps> all away, well all for better weather Away, all away, well all away, Joe Hey, can't you see? Hey, can't you see the storm clouds are gathering? Away, oh, all the way, well, all the way together. Away, all the way, well, all the way, Joe. Away, oh, all the way, well, all for better weather. Away, all the way to pass the time. It's better than taking photographs. Right. Like, it's never sunny here. It's either, like, just night time and cold, or rain. Sometimes like infernos, raining fire, some, you know, just like meteors from the sky. But no, just rain and cold. Come here. Don't suppose you have a body. No.
seemingly not more than enough that it does much to me. So all good. All good. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You want me to read you a story? Who do you think that I am? Like what do you think what what service do you think this is? No, don't worry about being helpful. That's clever. Just a short one, because if I don't actually push this boat along, we might be waiting another hundred years. Let's do this one, it looks suitably odd. It's called The Straw, The Coal and The Bean. In a village dwelt a poor old woman who had gathered together a dish of beans and wanted to cook them. So she made a fire on her hearth and that it might burn quicker, she lighted it with a handful of straw. When she was emptying the beans into the pan, one dropped without her observing it and lay on the ground beside a straw. And soon afterwards, a burning coal from the fire leapt down to the two. Then the straw began and said, Dear friends, from whence do you come here? The coal replied, I fortunately sprang out of the fire, and if I had not escaped by main force, my death would have been certain. I should have been burnt to ashes. The bean said, I too have escaped with a whole skin, but if the old woman had got me into the pan, I should have been made into broth without any mercy like my comrades. And would a better fate have fallen to my lot, said the straw. And the old woman has destroyed all my brethren in fire and smoke. She seized sixty of them at once and took their lives. I luckily slipped through her fingers. You're staying awake there? Ask me to read you a story then. No. But what are we to do now? said the coal. I think, answered the bean, that as we have so fortunately escaped death, we should keep together like good companions, and, lest a new mischance should overtake us here, we should go away together and repair to a foreign country. The proposition pleased the two others, and they set out on their way in company. Soon, however, they came to a little brook, and... As there was no bridge or foot plank, they did not know how they were to get over it. The straw hit on a good idea and said, I will lay myself straight across and then you can walk over me as if on a bridge. The straw therefore stretched itself from one bank to the other and the coal, who was of impetuous disposition, tripped quite boldly onto the newly built bridge. But when she had reached the middle and heard the water rushing beneath her, she was, after all, afraid and stood still and ventured no further. The straw, however, began to burn, broke in two pieces and fell into the stream. The coal slipped after her, hissed when she got into the water and breathed her last. The bean, who had prudently stayed behind on the shore, could not but laugh at the event, was unable to stop, and laughed so heartily that she burst. <laughs> it would have been all over with her, likewise, if, by good fortune, a tailor, who was travelling in search of work, had not sat down to rest by the brook. As he had a compassionate heart, he pulled out his needle and thread, and sewed her together. The bean thanked him, 
most prettily. But as the tailor used black thread, all beans since then have a black seam. Are you still with me? Well, you're a fun companion. That's fine. Just relax. Okay. I'll wake you in with that. 